Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at a new feature in Excel called Spill. This is a feature that just came out in Office 365. And Spill is defined as a way to populate multiple cells with the entry of a single formula without having to use an array formula which is entered as Control plus Shift plus Enter. In addition, we'll take a look at a couple new functions, specifically unique and sort, which both use the spill feature very well. So let's see how we can do this in Excel. So here are some examples of how the spill feature works. I'm going to show you five different examples of how to use spill. First, in terms of a list, let's say I go to cell G2 and I just say equals A2 to A10 and I hit enter. Watch what happens. Excel provides me a list of all the entries that are in cell A2 to A10. Now notice in cell G2 up in the formula bar you see equals A2 to A10 in a normal fashion. But below that all the rest of the cells show it in kind of a ghosted fashion or somewhat grayed out. And that is because that's the result of the spill. The only true formula is up in cell G2. Because of that, you cannot edit or change anything below. If I try to delete anything here, it doesn't affect the list. If I delete it up here, however, it will affect the entire spill list. Now I'm going to put that back. Notice also that when I'm within the list generated by spill, it puts a blue border around the area that the spill resulted in. But if I click off of that, now that border goes away. So that's a one example of how you can use spill. Now here's two new functions that just came out in Excel recently, unique and sort. And these are great when you use the spill function. For example, if I type equals unique and I select the choice list here and hit enter it's going to give me just the unique items that are in that list beef chicken and fish again notice in cell H2 the formula is in its normal fashion but in H3 and H4 it's somewhat grayed out and there is the border around that list of the unique items in column C now another great thing here is how you can use tables to automatically modify the list when new items are added. So for example, if I went down to row 27 here and I entered my name, put a Y here, and say I put tuna and hit enter, nothing changed up here. However, if I convert this to a table, and I say yes my table has headers now if I add another item here again I'll put my name back in here yes and tuna notice Excel automatically added that in the column H showing now the four different unique items that are in column C sort very similar here if I type in equals sort and I select the guest names here and hit enter, Excel will put them all in alphabetical order. Because I have first name and last name, it used the first letter of each of the first names to determine the order in which to list these, but they are in sorted in alphabetical order. Now, there is something you need to know regarding the spill feature, and that is if there's something in the way, it will cause an error. So if I go ahead and delete that, and just here I'm going to type hello, and then I'll go back up and enter that same sort formula, select this, close it, and hit enter. Notice I get a spill error because, as you can see, hello here prohibits the spill feature from populating all the way down to row 27. However, if I delete that and get rid of that obstruction, then it will go ahead and fill the area in. Next, 
a simple if formula. If I say, for example, equals if this range here equals y, then yes. If not, just give me a blank, close my parentheses, and notice it put yes where there was a y here and where there was an n. It just left it blank and it populated that all the way down. The last option I'm going to show you is the offset function. Now offset will generate a cell or a range of cells based on a starting point and then how many columns wide and rows high you want to make that range. So if I type equals offset and I'm going to use cell A1 as my reference point. How many rows down I'm going to go is zero. How many columns over zero. And I want it to be five rows high and one column wide. I close that and hit enter. Notice I get, starting with cell A1, the, five, the first five rows there, guest and four names. Now, if I go into the formula here, and again, I can't edit anything below where the initial formula is entered. But if I go into here and I change it from being one column wide to being three columns wide, hit enter, now notice it populated or it created the range that is five rows high and three columns wide. And again, I can edit this formula any way I want. I can make it seven instead of five rows high and it'll just adjust automatically. So that is the spill feature in Excel along with taking a look at the unique function and the sort functions. And that's how you can use this great option in Excel. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it beneficial, please share it, like it, or give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my blog at my website excel-bytes.com or any of the social networks you see below. Have a great day and happy Excelling.